guys, so today I wanted to share with you the makeup that I have been wearing throughout the start of summer because as of a couple of days ago now, it is officially the summer of 2017. And this summer I have been wearing a very, very simple makeup look and I thought that I would share it with you guys because I just think that it's the perfect amount of like light makeup that still makes you look really bronzy and tan and flawless but without having to cake a lot of product onto your face because no one wants to be outside with like 10 pounds of makeup on their face dripping in sweat. So yeah, let's just get right into the video. So my goal with my summer makeup was to use as few products as possible to make my skin just look very natural and to come up with a routine that was really quick and easy to do because most of the time during the summer, I'm just running out of my house. So the first product that I use is concealer and I recently have been using two concealers partially because I'm just trying to use up all the concealers I own, but also because the two that I'm using have different purposes. So the first one that I'm using is the Rimmel Wake Me Up Concealer, which if you guys have been on my channel for a long time, you know that I'm a big fan of this. I'm not a huge fan of the foundation anymore, but I do love the concealer. So I like this concealer because it has some brightening elements to it and like a little bit of like a shimmer. So I apply it underneath my eyes a little bit down the center of my nose and up into my forehead and then a little bit around my nose too. Now, the reason why I need my other concealer, which is the Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer, just my favorite full coverage concealer of the moment, is because I still get breakouts and when I get breakouts, I get acne scarring. So it's really important for me to kind of get a little bit of coverage going on those and I think I think that's it so because I am only using concealers and I'm not using any kind of foundation I really like to use a beauty blender to blend everything out just because I find that the beauty blender when you're not applying any kind of foundation and you're only applying concealer to certain areas gives the best like kind of transition around your skin because you're kind of blotting rather than like smearing like a brush would do or blending like that with strokes. This way, everything is really seamless and the Beauty Blender just gives you a very natural finish. Now, the only thing with the Beauty Blender is that for areas where I'm trying to cover a blemish, Beauty Blenders aren't necessarily the best with that. So if you guys do have really intense acne scarring and you're really self-conscious of it, I would probably say pick up a little concealer brush, but personally, I'm over being insecure about acne scarring because let's be real, it's a part of everyone's life and I don't have the time to perfectly conceal them every single day. So the next thing that I would do is fill in my eyebrows. Now, since I already did kind of do it this morning, I'll just talk you guys through a little touch up of what I'm going to do, which is just using a small pencil. I used a pomade this morning, so they're a little bit denser, but I really like having kind of feathery eyebrows when I'm going for a more natural look. And this is Anastasia Brow Wiz, which is just my favorite pencil ever. And it just gives you really fine hairs. And you can kind of get like a very model off-duty brow look. And if you mess up like I just did, you can just blend it out with your finger and everything is forgiven. So I'm just going to blend that out with a little spoolie and move on. I already have this product in my eyebrows, but I do like to use a clear brow gel just to set my eyebrows, especially during the summer. I am going to be placing a little bit of eye product onto my eyes and because of the shape of my eyelid, I definitely need to prime my lids because otherwise everything just turns into a big hot mess up there. So I'm just using the NARS Pro Prime Smudge Proof Eyeshadow because this is the best eyeshadow primer that I have ever found for keeping everything intact for literally the full day. Um, but if you guys don't have the kind of lids that smudge or if products don't wear on, then you definitely don't need to apply a primer because that's just one less product, right? 
So the key to this makeup look and the kind of cash-all product for the summer for me is bronzer. And this bronzer is the Marc Jacobs Omega Bronzer in the shade Tantric. I have been using this for like I guess at least a year, maybe a year and a half, and I've barely used up any of the product. And it's honestly just the best bronzer that I have ever found. So bronzer in this case becomes something that I contour with, something that I use on my eyes, and something that I use to actually bronze. It sounds weird and like that wouldn't work, but it does. So the first way that I use my bronzer is to contour my nose just because I like to slim it down a little bit and to kind of hide the little bump that I have in it. Um, I just like the way that this looks, but you definitely don't have to do it. And when I'm running low on time, especially in the summer, I probably skip it. But I am just going to do it so you guys can see. So I'm just with the little eyeshadow brush contouring my nose. And I'm not going to worry too much about blending it out this second. One, because I want the color to be very dark on there, so that way when I apply the rest of my bronzer, you can still see that my nose has been contoured, but also because I am going to apply bronzer and blend it out with a big fluffy brush, I'm gonna take the time to do it then. So I'm gonna look crazy for a second. And then I'm going to take this little fluffy eyeshadow brush and just Go like that really quick. So it's not so harsh, but I haven't fully taken the time to blend it yet. And then using that same little eyeshadow brush, I'm going to hollow out my cheekbones just the slightest bit. And stay like that. Now, with a much bigger fluffy brush, I'm going to pick up more of that bronzer and hit the tops of my cheekbones with it, so more of an actual bronzing now. And not, like, the way that I bronze during the summer is I try to hit the high points of my face, so that way it looks like I just spent a day at the beach rather than I'm um, trying to, you know, highlight um, my cheekbones and create shadows. I actually want to look sun-kissed. So that means hitting the tops of my forehead, the tops of my cheekbones, and the top of my nose. And this is why I don't really worry about blending out that contour too much at first, because I am using a huge brush to just blend everything together. And then my chin. And then I just blend a little bit down my neck. So now as you guys can see, I still have like that kind of darker area of shadowing around my nose. That way it has that still like kind of defined shape from the contouring and just a little bit of a definition underneath my cheekbones, but Overall, I still have a very sun-kissed glow kind of look. Now, because I'm lazy during the summer, I'm taking that same bronzer on a fluffy eyeshadow brush and just blending it through my eyelid. And it's really the only thing that I'm going to apply on here. And the way that I like to do it is focusing the product on my crease, um, on my crease which is partially because of my eye shape, but partially because I think it looks the most natural when you do that, and then work whatever's left on your brush down to your lash line and your lower lash line. So you can kind of see the difference between the two eyes there. And I just love, love, love to use this one product just throughout my whole face because it's just a lot easier that way, honestly. And I think it looks really natural when you do that. Because I'm me and I live on liquid eyeliner, I am going to apply just a thin line of liquid eyeliner to my upper lash line.
This side's a little bit messier, but it's because it's hard because I'm not very close to a mirror right now, okay? Don't judge me. So once the eyeliner is done, I'm going to finish off the majority of this makeup now with some mascara because no matter what, you always need mascara. And this one is just my favorite. This is the, um, the CoverGirl Super Sizer fibers mascara. I have like three of these in my makeup drawer right now. So that way whenever one dries up, I can just take another. And I learned this really great trick, which is that when your mascara starts to dry out, like if you've had it for a couple weeks, but not like past the point of expiration, um, you can actually just add a couple drops of like a contact solution because that's like a sterilized solution. Um, into the bottle and if you like mix it around with the little wand it will give you mascara that is almost as good as now okay so I'm almost done and I feel like I look pretty good already but just to kind of finish off this look I do want to apply some highlighter and this is again a step that you can skip but I know people love to have glowing makeup during the summer. So I'm starting with a cream color base from MAC, and this is just their Diamonds Frost. I have one from when it was a partner product with Rihanna, and I'm just applying this to the tops of my cheekbones to kind of give me some glow, and you could lay this on heavier if you want, or less because I applied a powder already. I'm trying not to do too much. And then a little bit at the tip of my nose. My cupid's bow. And then whatever's extra, I'm just gonna run there. And then to finish that all off, I am going to use a little bit of my Hourglass Ambient Lighting Palette. I'm using the shades Radiant Light, which is this nice tan one. I think a little bit of this middle one, which is Incandescent Light. So Radiant and Incandescent. And I'm just going to blend those two together on my little highlighting brush and hit the center of my face. This isn't a highlighting powder. This is just like a finishing powder that has a little bit of like a highlighting quality so it's not quite as intense but it just gives you a really beautiful finish and I'm basically hitting those same areas that I would have hit with the bronzer but only the highest points that I still want to kind of bring forward. So I forgot one thing, and that's why my hair is out of the braid for the moment, but um, I do like to apply a blush really quickly. So um, I take a little bit of, this is NARS Orgasm, but you can use any kind of natural looking blush shade that you like. And on a fluffy blush brush, I'm just going to sweep it back and then also over the bridge of my nose because you know when like you go outside and you just get a little bit of redness, it's hitting those same places that I hit with the highlighter and the bronzer and just ever so slightly adding a nice little rosiness to it. So yeah, now I'm done. I want to just point out the fact that today I am purposely skipping any kind of lip product. I have on some lip balm that I applied just before I started filming um, because during the summer, honestly, lip product is just not something that I do. If I'm going out at night, I'll apply some lip product on top of whatever I'm doing for my nighttime makeup. But during the day, I'm really not taking the time to put on a lip liner or anything because I tend to sweat on my upper lip and that just would make my lip products look not cute. So just keep it to a tinted lip balm if you really want something, in my opinion, for this look, but you're free to do whatever you want. I just like to leave it natural because I was forget to put a lip product in my bag anyway. So yeah, this is my summer makeup look. I hope that you guys liked it. Let me know in the comments down below what you think of this or what your go-to summer makeup is. And yeah, I think that that's it. Oh. 
if you're going outside and you're going to be wearing this makeup, I do recommend that you put on a sunscreen underneath this or use a sunscreen setting spray. I like the one by Kula because you still gotta protect your skin, you know, in the sun and all that. Okay, yeah, you guys know the drill. I'm not your mom, it's okay, whatever. <laughs> All right, so that is really it now. I am going to go do something with this hair because this ratty braid is just not cutting it for me today. And yeah, I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye. And if you guys haven't subscribed to my channel yet, you can go ahead and do that right here by clicking on my face or click on one of the other videos to go ahead and watch those now.